I started at Whole Foods about almost seven years ago, and I had been in the editorial world for a while, and then was lucky enough to get the job as food editor on the Whole Foods Market um, marketing team. And then since then, I have transitioned to working on our culinary development team, which is a really special team that focuses on development of all the recipes and programs for right now, particularly the ready to eat foods you find in store. So I have a background as, um, as a chef. For me, what's been very cool um, for me personally is that I've had um, the opportunity to have a lot of really interesting experiences. Whole Foods um, does a really nice job of allowing you to explore your own interests as an individual team member. And so, for example, I've gotten to do some on-camera work, which is something I never thought I would do before. I guess for me, what I really wish um, people knew about and appreciated more is all the work that goes into everything that ends up in our stores. So for example, all of the um, meat or seafood that ends up in our store, there's so many people involved in, in making sure that the animals are cared for, that the fish is farmed and fished responsibly. Um, and, and that's why sometimes things cost a little bit more, but to me, it's, it's always worth it. Well, one thing I've been loving is the Prime Now delivery. And so anything that you find in store and you just like, ooh, I love that, um, but you can't make it to the store, that makes it super easy. So one thing I'm thinking of in particular, we developed um, uh, what we're, and at least we call in, on my team, the best uh, chocolate chip cookie ever is our brown butter chocolate chip cookie. So that's something that's um, on special for Prime Day too, which is, is, is cool, but that I think is extra yummy and you can get it on, get it delivered to you. <laughs> When I'm headed to the beach, I focus on convenience, things that can be handheld and so that you're not leaving anything at the beach. Um, so for example, um, one thing I'm really excited about always in the summertime is cherries. And we've got organic cherries right now that are on a huge deal for our Prime Day celebrations. They're only $3.99 a pound, which is a $3 savings. Also, I, in a, in a sort of surprise move, am into sandwiches for the beach. Um, they're just, they're handheld. You don't have to worry about assembling anything. Sand won't get in them because it's like just a few bites. So I start with mini croissants and then use fun spreads and deli meats to make these easy sandwiches. And all of this is on special for prime, our Prime Day celebrations too. For my perfect picnic basket. Um, my focus is always on a big, beautiful spread so that everyone feels like they've got something there that, that sounds good, that looks good. Um, so one thing I think is, is pretty special is to serve something that's seafood, another unexpected choice. Um, but I've got this wild caught sockeye salmon here. I make a salad of it using baked salmon just flake that into a quick dressing of Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey mustard, and then whatever veggies looked good at the grocery store. Um, make that a quick protein packed salad, serve it with some easy crackers. And the salmon right now um, for our Prime Day celebration is on sale for $9.99 a pound, which is an excellent deal. And then for the rest of the spread, um, I make it easy on myself by heading to our chef's case which um, on Thursday is one of our special daily deals. So that is 25% um, off for all chef's case. So that's our ready to eat foods. So I would grab lots of cool picnic salads. So just tons of salads that are easy to serve um, at room temp, making it a really nice picnic spread. <laughs> a nice combo of everything. I read a ton. 
Um, one thing I found that I do a lot of is follow artists and designers on Instagram in particular. And so um, a lot of my inspiration comes from people not necessarily in the food world, but it's a nice way to think about um, shape and texture and just generally like time periods that are cool and interesting and of the moment. And so I make sure that um, I'm gathering my inspiration everywhere. I don't, I, I don't know if this is like a, you know, a really hot new trend, but what I think about specifically for summer that I really love are fun frozen things. So anything that you can make frozen, we've got lots of cool things on special for Prime Day. Um, part of what I was thinking of are these mochi are just a really fun frozen treat. It's not something you would necessarily make at home, but I tend to make lots of um, popsicles and that sort of thing. And so you can use those items um, for, for just sort of like fun, easy cool offs throughout the day. When I'm not working, I am really lucky to have a super fun toddler at home. And so we're doing a lot of, um, this is probably why I'm thinking about frozen treats, uh, because we're playing outside a ton and she loves water. Um, so we're doing lots of water games and activities like that. I also do um, a lot of Pilates on my own. And though it's super hot in Austin um, during the summer, I like to walk around, I like to hike. So, <sighs> shoot, I am bad at concerts. So I, this is not, I don't know why, but I don't see a lot of live music, I think. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to think about um, the last concert I was at. You know, honestly, it was probably just something that I popped into accidentally during South by Southwest because you can find concerts just happening <laughs> anywhere you are. And I, you know, I remember just walking around, you hear something that sounds good and you just sort of beeline into the next room. I think the most important thing to think about is to get them involved in cooking. Let them make some fun decisions, let them get, um, get their hands dirty, let them taste everything that will just make everyone happier at the table.